On behalf of the two million Knights of Columbus and their families, it is my privilege to give you an inside look at the beatification of our founder, Blessed Michael McGivney. Father McGivney was a man on a mission. Nearly 140 years ago, he inspired the men of his parish to come together to protect their families, to defend the church, and to strengthen their faith. Father McGivney answered God's call and challenged Catholic men to do the same. This challenge continues to this day. I will never forget the historic and beautiful mass of beatification for Father McGivney. As I joined in that celebration, I was filled with gratitude to God and to those who had put so much into making that day a reality. My predecessor, Carl Anderson, played a leading role. Under his leadership, the cause for canonization made important strides as Father McGivney was declared both venerable and blessed. I am grateful for his outstanding stewardship of our Founder's cause. I also thank the countless men and women who prayed for the beatification over the years. Father McGivney is cherished by families around the world. For decades, we have asked for his intercession. And now, Father McGivney's miraculous intercession has been confirmed. I hope this video will give you a sense of the great joy of the day Father McGivney became blessed. And I hope the memory of that day encourages each of us to continue our prayers for the intercession of Blessed Michael McGivney. On the eve of the beatification of Father Michael McGivney, St. Mary's Church in New Haven, Connecticut hosted a vigil for priests. The vigil invited prayer and reflection on the life of this remarkable parish priest and founder of the Knights of Columbus. Father McGivney ministered in the late 19th century, but his priestly ministry had a surprisingly contemporary cast. For that reason, we who are trying to live the Christian life and the ideals of the Knights of Columbus, we can rightly claim Father McGivney as the parish priest of our souls. We can do this because he lived a life with a kind of heroic virtue and holiness that lies within our reach. Indeed, Father McGivney removes our excuses not to aspire to holiness or charity or compassion or to the living out of the demands which our vocations call us to. Soon to be blessed, Father Michael J. McGivney, pray for us. Beatification is possible because this person came to know and believe in the reality of God's love for him while still walking the streets of our towns and cities. This is the heart of the charism of Father Michael J. McGivney, venerable servant of God. The fruits of that love are found in his personal life and in his pastoral work as a parish priest. In Father McGivney's case, this overflowing of charity took the form of caring for others with unusual intensity and unstinting self-sacrifice. Reverend Fathers, our founder is proof that one good priest can make a difference for the whole world. Thank you for being willing to follow in his footsteps. And like the layman with whom he founded the Knights of Columbus, count always on my support and that of all the Knights to continue to bring the gospel of Jesus Christ to a much loved but broken world.
have to admit that today feels like Christmas morning in a certain sense, waking up and realizing the day has finally come. But I speak for all priests and just saying how delighted, how happy we are that one of our own, one in our own backyard is actually being elevated to the level of being blessed in the church. The knights gathering and strengthening men as good leaders, as husbands, as fathers, as great parishioners, wherever they find themselves. It's so wonderful that he's being recognized, but at the same time, all that have been a part of this great organization from its beginning are being recognized as well at this great event. To this day, Father McGivney's holiness of life and exemplary service continue to inspire priests throughout America and around the world. And his vision for an active and engaged laity serves as a witness to the power of spiritual brotherhood and charity. Dati nostra apostolica, facultatum facimus ut venerabilis servus dei, Michael McGivney, presbyter diocesanus. Having consulted the congregation for the causes of the saints, we, by our apostolic authority, decree that the venerable servant of God, Michael McGivney, diocesan priest, founder of the Knights of Columbus, henceforth be given the title of blessed, given in Rome, in the year 2020, the eighth of our pontificate, Francis. To sit there as part of that ceremony and watch the banner unfurl with Father McGivney's portrait on it and the announcement that yes, he is now blessed Michael McGivney uh, was the culmination of a very rigorous process, very detail-oriented process. The church makes very sure that the facts on which it relies for beatification in the miracle stands not only the test of time, but medical examination and other kinds of examination. So as that banner unfurled, it was really uh, the end of a very long journey and a very joyful end. Brothers and sisters, in recognizing the holiness of Father McGivney, there are timely signs of God's providential care that can speak in a personal way to each one of us, especially at this moment of our history. Michael McGivney, we see the face of a son of immigrants who gave his life in pastoral service of those most recently arrived in this country. We meet the eldest of 13 children who work to keep families united in dignity and security. We are in the presence of an apostle who cared for victims of an epidemic before he himself would die of the disease. We praise God for the timeliness of this celebration because 130 years after his death, the brief life of this holy man speaks eloquently to our own path to holiness. The Beatification Mass was broadcast on EWTN, Catholic TV, Salt and Light Television, and several other Catholic networks. It was also streamed around the world and made available in French, Polish, and Spanish. The Knights of Columbus, who are such an important part of the church in our country, to be able to have their founder raised to the altars at this time is, is a wonderful thing. We're so grateful to Carl Anderson and to everyone in the Knights for everything that they've done to, to get us to this day. But uh, this is a great gift to our church. The beatification of our founder, Father McGivney, is full of meaning for the Knights of Columbus as an organization and individually. 
I think uh, looking at his life of holiness and heroic virtue should impress all of us to think more deeply of our commitment to charity and unity, the great principles of our order. His genius was to set up a fraternal community for men, almost all of whom were married, in the world, working to support their families. What sense of brotherhood was there for these men? And Father McGivney's genius was to come up with the Knights of Columbus, a true brotherhood dedicated to principles of charity and unity. So I think his beatification is a clear sign that this way of Christian life for men today is something very important, important for us individually, for the Knights of Columbus, and for the Universal Church. With the beatification taking place in Hartford, crowds also gathered at St. Mary's Church in New Haven. It was here that Father McGivney served as a parish priest and founded the Knights of Columbus. This is where his body is interred, and this will be the spiritual center of the growing devotion to his spiritual legacy. There were several hundred of us on the street watching the Beatification Mass live from Hartford. And that moment that the letter was read by Cardinal Tobin, and then afterward the, it was read in English by Archbishop Laurie, the Supreme Chaplain, uh, at that moment, the church bells here of St. Mary's began to peal. They uncovered the image that you see in the front of the outside of the church. Once that image was uncovered, there was great cheering in the streets. I really think of McGivney as bringing to us God's compassionate love. You know, we think of saints a lot of times as people up here or far away or on the other side of the world. But here, the people of New Haven, we have a saint, his tomb right here at St. Mary's. And so it adds a note of intimacy. The historic occasion of Father McGivney's beatification inspired a jammed schedule at St. Mary's Church. From panel discussions to candlelight processions, thousands turned out amidst the ongoing pandemic to pay homage to the Catholic Church's newest blessed. We had a wonderful turnout of devotion at St. Mary's here in New Haven, the weekend of Father McGivney's beatification, and I'm sure that he found that most rewarding. You know, Father McGivney's mission at St. Mary's really is very historic because we all know the Irish Americans who were part of his parish, his parishioners, were immigrants or the children of immigrants. They had a very hard time coming to the United States. We all know the kind of prejudice that they faced and discrimination that they faced. And the church at that time had a real question. Are we going to be insular? Are we going to remove ourselves from the hostility of this culture? Or are we going to advance into it are we going to have uh, an influence in it? And are we gonna be part of it and yet still keep our Catholic identity? I think that question was very much in the mind of Father McGivney when he founded the Knights of Columbus so that the Catholics in his parish uh, would not retreat, they would go forward to be both proud Americans and faithful Catholics. And so to see that tradition continue at St. Mary's on the weekend of his beatification was really terrific. The McGivney Festival was inspired uh, by two things. One, the idea that we wanted to make available to as many pilgrims as possible, both the ability to pray at the tomb of Father McGivney here at St. Mary's in New Haven. We also recognized that the beatification weekend would be a great moment for us to introduce Father McGivney as a model, not only for uh, priests around the world, but also for young adults. And so it was really our goal on the vigil of all the saints, on the day that he was declared blessed, that we would have a victory procession of Father McGivney and his relics, and we were also triumphantly showing here on earth what actually the church declared earlier that day to be true in heaven, that Father McGivney is now a blessed among the saints.
Father Givney was beatified today. And what that means is he's one step away from becoming a saint. And it's one of those examples that you want to show to people and say, here is somebody who worked through really hard times and his lasting legacy is something we still support today. Well, this is a once in a lifetime kind of activity. And for it to be in New Haven, in the city where the Knights were founded, where Father McGivney was the parish priest, it's something that you may never see again. So it's very, very special. The day after the beatification, a ribbon cutting ceremony was held for the new Blessed Michael McGivney Pilgrimage Center. Located at the site of the former Knights of Columbus Museum, this center will help promote the spiritual and charitable legacy of its namesake. And I think as we study more the life of Father McGivney, his beatification, the more we will enter into what it means to be a Catholic in America, and particularly what it means to be a Catholic today. That's the purpose of the new Father McGivney Pilgrimage Center, to explore his life and his ministry and his spirituality, uh, what it was he was offering as an example to Catholics of his time and Catholics of our time. And so uh, that's very important that we learn more about what it means to have a life of charity and unity. Having lived the Beatitudes so thoroughly and consistently, Father McGivney provides the Knights of Columbus with a roadmap, a roadmap into the future as the order continues to seek to help men become better husbands and better fathers and convincing witnesses to the gospel in these challenging times. Today we see that Blessed Michael McGivney was a man of charity, and his greatest charity was the gift of himself, a gift which continues to touch the lives of countless individuals with greater effect each passing year. Today is truly a day of thanksgiving and we say with gratitude the inspiration of the life and heroic virtue of our brother prompts us to greater confidence in the love of Christ, whose faithful priest he remains for all eternity. The beatification of Father McGivney is a testament to his vision for Catholic men and Catholic families. The Knights of Columbus is proud to continue the work he began. In his beatification, the Lord has not only confirmed where we have been, he is showing us a path forward. As we look to the future, we do so with confidence. Devotion to Father McGivney has never been stronger. Every day, Catholics ask for his intercession. Our founder is listening and lifting up our petitions in heaven. Let us continue to turn to him as our model and intercessor and inspire others to do the same. And let us pray that his cause of canonization continues to advance. I believe the day is coming when blessed Michael McGivney will be called saint. And I look forward to reaching that day together with you.